In this video, I'm going to talk about camber. Uh, this has to do mostly with cross country skis, but it's also um, the same thing in downhill skis. And it plays a big role in skis. If you're looking at buying some skis, um, this is definitely something you're going to want to pay attention to. Camber has a big impact on cross country skiing. So I got three different examples of skis here. Uh, this ski has a double camber. This ski has a single camber. And these AT skis have a very slight bit of camber. So what is camber and why do we want that in cross country skis in particular? You have uh, fish scales or sometimes like a little bit of a skin in the middle of the cross country ski. But you notice this fish scale does not extend all the way to the tips and tails. So why is that? What, why is the fish scale only here? And how does that relate to camber? So when you want to propel this, propel this ski forward, what you need is this fish scale to grip in. And when you're cross country skiing, that is usually done by applying all your weight to one foot. And when you do that, it weighs the ski in the middle. And that makes the fish scales grip. So with a double camber ski, most of the time when you're not putting all your weight on one foot, the fish scales are not really digging in the snow. And you're getting a glide from here and here. And that's what you want ideally. You want this, you want this fish scale to be gripping the snow when you're doing a kick. But during the glide, you, you want the smooth parts of the ski to be the ones touching the snow. Not everything is great about camber. It has its downside too. And that is mostly when you're going downhill and you want to turn the ski. So when I go to turn the ski and I'm skiing on it, the issue with camber is the ski grips here and here, most of all. And that makes it very difficult to turn. Let me demonstrate. So if I'm weighing this and the pressure is here and here on the ski and I go to turn it, you know, I can't even turn it here on the carpet at all. So it's, it's not going to be easy <clears throat> trying to turn the ski in snow either. What makes it easier to turn the ski is if you have most of the weight pressured right here at the center. Let me give you an example. So if I say if I'm on the top of a bump or mogul, or if I simply have more pressure here in the center of the ski, look at how easy it pivots. The issue with camber is when it puts the weight here and here on the ski, it makes it very difficult to pivot. So that's why in cross country, back country skis, you'll see some skis that have not as much camber. And these are like a single camber ski. So this is an example of a single camber ski, the Fisher s bound 98. So the advantage with this is it's gonna have more of the weight in the middle of the ski. So when you're, when you're applying pressure here, it's alleviating some of the pressure on this point and this point. It's applying more of it underfoot, which is gonna give it, you know, more of that easy turning. These here are more of like a downhill cross country ski. And that's why it only has a single camber. And like I said, that's gonna make it easier to turn and the other thing is, it's going to make it easier to go up because these fish scales, a lot of times, are going to be gripping in as you're going up because there's less pressure to apply on your foot to get really heavy grip in this fish scale section. So it's going to make it easier to go up and it's going to make it easier to go down. And, you know, you look at the other end of the spectrum. This is our AT skis. They don't have any fish scales, so there isn't as much need for camber in this. And these are much easier to turn too. There's even some skis that are a rocker camber. So they, they'll have a negative camber. So that only the center part of the ski, the center part of the ski would be touching here. So you're saying to yourself, you're probably saying to yourself now, why wouldn't I buy a cross country ski that is only a single camber? And that way I can go up steeper slopes easier and I can go down steeper slopes too because it's easier to turn. 
Well, the, the problem with getting rid of this camber is this fish scale suction drags all the time when you're skiing. And you know, the point of the cross country skiing is to, is to be skiing, right? We're not snowshoeing here. So we, <laughs> we want glide on the ski. And by eliminating a lot of that camber out of the ski, what it's, what it's making is that you don't get much glide on these um, single camber skis. So there is there's some situations where you would want this. Um, say if, if you really don't like um, to wiping out, uh, if you really don't like wiping out, you want more control on the downhill sections. Um, if you're truly going off trail, you know, and you're going up steeper stuff, that's when you would want a single camber ski. Uh, if you're going on um, just like, a, say, a flat train, you're definitely going to want a double camber ski. Or if you're on a moderate um, train and you're a fairly advanced uh, skier, you would also want a double camber ski in that case too, because you're going to get more um, glide going down. It's going to be more fun going downhill. Um, you know, maybe another case for this single camber ski is if you're, if you're in places where, you know, it's just more like an AT area, say if you're advanced uh, cross country skier and you're going in more like a steeper train, that's another case where you would want a single camber a cross country ski. So yeah, it's uh it's pretty uh it's pretty interesting. This skiing it has it has trade offs. So uh, depending on how steep uh, the the train is, you know how fast uh, the the snow is. So if it's icy, you know obviously you'd want a single camber ski. A lot of times, even if it's kind of a moderate. Uh, great, you know, that way it's easier to turn the ski sideways and to burn off uh, some of the speed. Uh, yeah, it's uh, something to think about. I guess in the, in the best case scenario, you would actually be able to own uh, multiple skis for multiple conditions. And you have uh, a van or something where you can put all these skis and go up there. You can see what the conditions are like. And then you can change out your, your uh, cross country skis depending on what you want to do. Or, you know, if it's really bad, then you go to um, an AT ski. You know, obviously, because this, this doesn't have much camber at all, it's a lot easier to turn. Um, yeah, it's a lot, lot easier to go down uh, slopes, obviously, in an AT ski rather than the cross country skis. So, yep, that's uh, something to think about if you're getting skis.